Greetings, we are Anonymous. Take a look around. Everywhere you look the world is suffering. Wars of aggression. Companies dumping toxic waste everywhere. Governments supporting the poisoning of our water. One third of the world goes hungry, while the other two thirds throws away the third of their food. We are digging up all the coal and oil of our planet instead of researching renewable methods. Governments and corporations constantly lie, kill, and extort the entire planet's population just for profit. Where in America the richest 1% have 42% of the money. You should have to be convinced that the system we live under, must come to a stop. This is just a game to them, a game which is rigged in the most extreme ways, where they cheat at any given opportunity. It is a game in which the majority do not even know they are playing, working only to serve the pockets of the criminal banking cartels. They have created a psychological prison, where the prisoners are not even aware they are locked up. We live under a system in which the wealth is sucked from the poor, then given to the rich, where people actively harm others on this planet in the pursuit of profit. They have orchestrated a huge redistribution of power, purely for more control, but shrouded under the banner of justice. Massive surveillance, data collection of every citizen, hundreds of billions of dollars spent every year on the military-industrial complex, huge bailouts to the bankers, very few people controlling excessively large amounts of media corporations, in turn controlling the information we get, the funding of both sides of the wars, again only for profit and power. For those who are paying attention, this is of no surprise. So do you have any uh, second thoughts about uh, pulling all ground troops out of Iraq? You know what, what I just find interesting is uh, the degree to which this, this issue keeps on coming up as if this was my decision. For the first time in nine years, there are no Americans fighting in Iraq. Four years ago, I promised to end the war in Iraq. We did. Four years ago, I promised to end the war in Iraq. I did. Now, four years ago, I promised to end the war in Iraq, and I did. I told you we'd end the war in Iraq. We did. I said we'd end the Iraq war. We did. I told you I'd end the war in Iraq. And we did. I ended the war in Iraq as I promised. In 2008, I promised we'd end the war in Iraq. We've ended it. I was able to keep my promise and end the war in Iraq. In 2008, I promised we would end the war in Iraq and we've ended it. The war in Iraq is over. The war in Iraq is over from ending the war in Iraq. That's why I ended the war in Iraq. For the first time in nine years, there are no Americans fighting in Iraq. Don't tell me words don't matter. January 17th, 1961. President Eisenhower warned the world of the impending threat posed by a disastrous rise of misplaced power involving the military-industrial complex. Three months later, President John F. Kennedy would make an address before the American Newspaper Publishers Association, emphasizing the need for a free and independent press, making it clear that censorship and the act of covering up mistakes is unacceptable, especially in what's supposed to be a free and open society. Nevertheless, over 54 years later, it's clear that while some circumstances have changed, the same warnings still very much apply. The unfortunate and honest truth is that the very censorship and misplaced power the citizens were warned about 54 years ago, we're seeing occur today in the present. When the warnings of the past are ignored, history is doomed to repeat itself. To be, to be fair, we had helped to create the problem we're now fighting. How? Because when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, we had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of Mujahideen, equip them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside Afghanistan. And we were successful. The Soviets left Afghanistan and then we said, great, goodbye, leaving these trained people who were fanatical 
in Afghanistan and Pakistan, leaving them well armed, creating a mess, frankly, that uh, at the time we didn't really recognize. We were just so happy to see the Soviet Union fall and we thought, okay, fine, we're, we're okay now. Everything's going to be so much better. Now you look back, the people we're fighting today, we were supporting in the fight against the Soviet. In retrospect, the intelligence that everybody saw, that the world saw, not just the United States, was, um, was faulty. And in retrospect, once we, once we um, invaded and took out uh, Saddam Hussein, we didn't focus on security first. And the Iraqis, in this incredibly insecure environment, um, turned on the United States military because there was no security for themselves and their families. Those damn Iraqis, once we invaded, tried to fight back. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed.